I really like this typewriter effect that you can see on remoteok.com. And today we're going to look at how you can implement this in your own bubble app, like I've done here on nocodebuilds.co. So the first thing you need to do is go into the plugin section in your bubble editor, and we're going to search for typewriter. So we're going to put that in. Then you're going to want to install this typewriter text plugin here. And once that's done, you can go back to your bubble editor. A really simple page layout here, which is one group in the middle of the page. And I'm going to drag that typewriter text visual element into the group I've just created. You see there's a couple of options here. There's the cursor character, type statement 1, 2, 3, and down to 7. What these essentially are are the different words that you're going to see uh, as a typewriter does its effect and it deletes previous words and types out new ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in video tutorials. We're going to type in plugins and we're going to type in templates. And this might be a good time just to see what exactly this is going to look like. And we should see three different words uh, with the typewriter effects, deleting them in sequence and typing out the new ones. So you can see there, formatting is in grey at the moment, uh, all in grey, but there is something happening there. So that is a good start. So we're going to improve the look of that just a bit to make it a bit uh, more appealing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the colour. We're also going to change the font size and the alignment. And we're also going to change the font itself. Next, we're going to add in a text element next to our typewriter effect. And this is going to be the preceding text that comes before uh, the various typewriter effect pieces of text that we've put in. So I'm just going to change this around a bit in the layout, make this the first thing. And we're also going to change the appearance of this. First of all, we're going to say, we create bubble and we're also going to change the values here just to make it a bit more similar to what we had a second ago and we're also going to align that you can see here it seems to be a, a layer that is not perfect so we're just going to make that a bit bigger and a bit bigger again always with a trial and error when you're doing this with bubble and that doesn't seem too far off so let's leave it like that for a second and I think if we just change the font we should be good for the first pass okay let's see how that's looking and what we might need to change to get a more polished look uh, we should hopefully have that text and the typewriter effect okay a couple things first of all they're not perfectly in line uh, secondly you can see that it's going quite quickly so I think if we change those two things we should be nearly there uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to left align everything in the container just to make it all similar so I think we can do that here on the typewriter text if we scroll down. And we're going to do, we don't need to do that in the container. Uh, so let's see how that looks now and make sure that they are aligned. Just a bit of trial and error sometimes to get these things working the way you want them. Okay, that looks a lot better. You can see it's kind of writing and deleting uh, at an appropriate distance from the preceding text. But now it's just this alignment here and the gap between them is a bit small as well. So let's do that. We'll give this a bit of a right margin. I think five should probably be fine. And then lastly, we do want this to be a bit lower down. So let's give this a top margin of five as well. And then the last thing we need to do is just change the speed. Uh, the deleting speed seems to be a bit fast, but it seems really nicely aligned at the moment. So I think we just need to slow it down a bit and we're good to go. So. If you look at the appearance tab here, you'll see that uh, deleting speed, you'll see that the smaller number means faster typing. So in this case, we probably want a larger number. Now this is negative, so I'm not quite sure if you want it towards zero for larger or, or say minus 40, but we should get a good sense just on the preview here. Hopefully it's a bit slower at minus five rather than minus 20. Yeah, and that's a bit slower there by the looks of it. So happy enough with that. Uh, this is how you use a typewriter effect plugin. Uh, hope it's been helpful. If you'd like other bubble tips, please do subscribe to the channel.